Okay, now that our media configuration tool has updated the printer, we are now ready to print using our new media configuration as well as our trusty Color Monkey profile. All right, so we're in the plugin, and under media type, we will now see live canvas at the bottom. Keep in mind, the, the very bottom of this scroll down list is going to have all of your custom media, okay? So here's the live canvas we just created. I'm going to select that. If we want to change any additional settings, we can go into advanced settings. We really don't need to change anything here because we already dialed that in. Okay. Print mode is standard. Output profile. Here's where we're going to select our Color Monkey profile or any ICC profile that you've built with if you have an i1 or any other type of device. Alrighty. So I know that I named mine Canon IPF 6300 underscore live. So here it is right here. I'm going to select that. Okay. Our matching method, we want to use perceptual. Okay. Now, in case it's not letting you select your profile right here, the reason being is you need to go into ICC conversion options and make sure that the conversion engine is Adobe CMM. By default, it's OS standard CMM, and you actually need to download Adobe CMM and install it if you don't have it already. If you do not have it, you can go to adobe.com, type in Adobe CMM in the search box, select it, and then, of course, pick your operating system and go from there. It's a very quick download. takes about 30 seconds with a decent Internet connection speed, and all you need to do is restart Photoshop. Now the nice part about the plugin is that once we select Adobe CMM, that's going to be our default and it's going to be saved in there unless we physically go in here and change it. Okay? We want to make sure black point compensation is checked. And then we're going to hit OK. We don't need any proofing options. And that's it. Okay, so now the moment of truth. Does our print match what's on our display? Well, I always recommend any type of professional lighting system. We have a very simple desktop version right here. And neutral lighting, if possible, in your office area so you can accurately view colors. Alrighty, so here's our print right here. And now let's take a look at our monitor. So what we're going to do here is we are going to go up to View, Proof Setup, and Select Custom. Here's where we're going to be able to determine what profile we want to actually simulate on screen. Now I just calibrated my monitor this morning and I recommend that you do the same. So we're going to scroll down right here until we find Canon IPF 6300 live. We're going to select that. Let's make sure our rendering intent is perceptual. You want to make sure that black point compensation is checked. And then the most important is you want to simulate the paper color. Okay, we're going to hit OK. So now let's take a look.